Red Business with Jonathan Healy. Combine all your lines of communication and simplify the game. Search Vodafone One Net Business today. So, Marathon Industries, give me a breakdown. It's a B2B company that provides uh, cloud storage for Fortune 500 companies. Chet, what did the market research turn up? What? Oh, I Googled them, but the results were weird. You didn't use the market research database that we spent thousands of dollars a month on and that you were specifically trained to use. I quit. This job is different than I thought it would be. Stop. Does this situation look familiar? A new type of worker has entered the workforce. They're called millennials, and they're terrible. Today, I'm going to teach you all about this new breed of worker so you can avoid misunderstandings in which you feel the need to fire them immediately. Ah, the poor misunderstood millennial. There are a lot of abusive names for young people joining the workforce now. The snowflakes, the internet generation, or my personal favourite, the boomerang generation. All because so many of them have moved back in with mom and dad. Now, such is the need to understand these mysterious creatures that we need an expert. Lisa Smith, an expert on millennials, gives us the top five things we need to know. At five. It's regular feedback. And the reason for that is we need to engage correctly with today's generation. And when we say regular feedback, it really does work in line with communication. Because if you're giving regular feedback and you're not communicating it correctly, you're still doing it incorrectly. So regular feedback, but being, you know, being positive. And um, with every negative that you give, you've got to give three positives. So this generation expect to be have regular feedback. At four. Number four is performance management. So yes, we are a generation that wants to develop very quickly. So we need to see performance management from the day we walk into a business. So making sure that you have the right tools and programs in place to allow this millennial to feel like they're going on a journey and feeling that they're part of an asset as well as the company. So performance management is very, very key. At three. Now, a lot of companies that I work with today will tell me that they have amazing culture, but nobody really understands what the definition of culture means to a millennial. What it essentially means is to make sure that there's a team environment, but there's opportunity to develop themselves. Number two. Key of it all, communication. What I mean by communication doesn't mean like, how was your weekend? How did you get on? Essentially, it means making sure that person feels like he's a valid member of the team. That he's not just a little fish in a big pond, but he's making a difference to the company on its journey. And the number one most important thing we need to know about millennials is... Equip your frontline managers, because millennials don't leave companies, but they leave their managers. That's why we're seeing a high attrition in Ireland. So make sure that your millennials are tra- or your frontline managers are trained to be able to communicate and engage with today's generation. Yeah, I know a lot of you don't go along with that but I put it to Lisa that millennials seem to be a needy pain in the arse and I asked her whether that was a fair description. It's actually not because uh, that's just a perception and everybody I mean we have our own perceptions of what baby boomers are like but we don't get an opportunity to talk about that Um, but in true sense it's it's not. Uh, They are very demanding multitasking type of people um, and they do expect to grow very very quickly. So whose fault is it that they're like this? Is it the millennials themselves or is it their parents? Lisa has a theory. There's a lot of helicopter parenting when it comes to millennials and we're seeing that slightly change with Gen Z. So um, we're seeing a lot lot more millennials starting getting into the trends of what we see in Gen Z. We won't talk about Gen Z today because it's a whole different topic. But um, yeah, majority of parents out there uh, that are to millennials are baby boomers. So you'll find a lot of baby boomers have the exact same traits now. And before you dismiss the idea of a millennial expert, it's worth noting that Lisa's company, Engage Smith, has secured 400 grand in funding to expand internationally and to develop online training courses to help firms retain their younger staff. So that's at least one millennial that's thinking.